Welcome to Tom's Hardware. My name is Caroline Dunn, and today I am presenting my scrolling text face mask. Do you find it hard for people to understand you when you are wearing your face mask? Wouldn't it be easier if you could just close caption yourself? Let me show you how this works. From a local website on my phone, I'll just type in, hello, my name is Caroline, and then I'll hit submit. And then you should see, hello, my name is Caroline. across my face mask. And that's how easy it is for it to work. For this project, I started with a flexible NeoPixel 8x8 matrix. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4. You can also use a Raspberry Pi 3 or Raspberry Pi 0W with header pins. For the face mask, I am using a cloth mask with translucent fabric for the top layer. Other items you'll need include jumper wires, a soldering kit with heat shrink tubes, diode, and maybe a small breadboard. The key to working with the NeoPixel matrix is that it requires a separate five volt power source. I'm using a power bank charger as the source for my NeoPixel matrix. To connect my NeoPixel matrix to the power supply, I used one of my old USB cables and cut off the micro USB end and then stripped the wires. In part one, I started with my breadboard and connected the NeoPixel and Raspberry Pi with some jumper wires. The jumper wires and the breadboard are just temporary until we get the project working to our satisfaction. I installed some mandatory packages and by the end of part one, I had my NeoPixel sample code working that fills the display with various colors and a rainbow. In part two, we test out a few sample phrases with our scrolling text on our matrix. Running testmessage.py should output the phrase, welcome to Tom's hardware. Running testmessageinput.py should prompt you to enter a phrase of your choice. If that works, then we'll start running app.py, which includes our Flask website and allows us to change the text with an internal website. Start app.py and then from another computer or your phone on the same network, you can now access the Flask website and enter text for your face mask on the website. When it stops, you can enter in a new phrase. If everything is working correctly, you can set up app.py to run on boot. At the end of the step, you can shut down your Raspberry Pi. In part three, we will start by taking apart your breadboard setup and soldering the diode and the wires to form the same connections as our working circuit. Now, when we boot up our Raspberry Pi, the Python code should run on boot and we can access the Flask website from any other computer on the same network. If your smartphone has hotspot capabilities, you can set up your Raspberry Pi to your phone's Wi-Fi and then you truly have a mobile solution when you're on the go. As a bonus, I adapted this project for a 32 by eight matrix that fits across a face shield. I covered the matrix with translucent fabric and hot glued into place. The code for the same project, but for the face shield can be found in the folder 32 matrix. At the end of this tutorial, you'll have a scrolling text face mask and or face shield that scrolls your messages. I hope you'll try out this project. Thanks for watching. For Tom's Hardware, I'm Caroline Dunn.